Hi, I'm Bob Ansh, a senior editor of CE Pro Magazine. In the latest CE Pro product review, we are going to look at Roku's line of wireless loudspeakers. Roku offers a complete line of audio products. Yes, it's known for its Roku line of sticks, streaming sticks and streaming products, but the company also not long ago had come out with a line of loudspeakers that complements its streaming products. In my case, the company sent me the Streambar Pro soundbar, which is the bigger of their two soundbars, along with two pairs of the Roku wireless speakers and a single Roku wireless subwoofer. Retailing for about $660, this 5.1 system was set up in two phases. Initially, I set up the system as a 3.1 system. After I had unboxed everything, I downloaded the Roku app. Like other systems on the market, you follow a series of prompts to set up the Roku speaker system. Later, I added the other two set of wireless speakers. Roku sells its wireless speakers in pairs, so it's easy to add another set of speakers to go from 3.1 or 2.1, whatever. They, they, they offer lots of flexibility with the product line at reasonable prices. Anyway. Total time to unpack, download, set up the system took me about 30 minutes. It's pretty painless, and the results were uh, honestly quite surprising. Now, taking a look at the performance of the system. As I had noted earlier, initially I set the system up as a 3.1 system, and I was quite pleased. The system delivered a wide sound stage. I thought the dialogue was articulate and easily understandable. Adding the two point uh, the other speakers, I should say, to make it a 5.1 system took that sound stage to the next level. The sound stage grew in size and immersiveness. What really struck me was how well integrated the wireless subwoofer was with the loudspeakers. It was absolutely seamless. There's no localizing the subwoofer. It complements the speakers in the soundbar absolutely flawlessly. Another bonus with the uh, Roku line of speakers is the fact that the soundbars also come with the Roku OS built right in. That allows users to stream their favorite content. Roku offers a whole host of streaming services, including all the biggies, Disney Plus, HBO Max, Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, you name it, they offer it. Maybe the only downside that I encountered with the Roku streaming platform, ironically enough, or the system, ironically enough, was with the streaming platform. For whatever reason, the HBO Max app consistently crashed on me. I don't know what's going on with it. Ultimately, it, it wasn't a big deal for me, but I think um, that it's probably a problem on the HBO Max app side of things. I don't believe it's Roku because I had experienced similar issues with their app using my Sony, which was connected to this system, Sony TV, uh, and it's Google TV platform. So based on my experience, I think it's the app and not necessarily the Roku OS. Anyway, overall, I was thrilled with the performance of the system. It's a terrific sounding system. It really brings home theater home. And at a price point, that's realistically untouchable. I don't know how Roku did it. It's easy to set up. It's easy to use. The, the Roku OS is easy, easy to navigate and offers all your favorite content. And um, you can build on it a la carte. So like I did, if you want to start in a 2.1, a 3.1 system, and then build up to a 5.1, it's all doable based on your financial situation. Anyway, to learn more about Roku and its line of streaming products and loudspeakers, please go to cepro.com.